Sarcoma is a rare but treatable disease that is often referred to as the forgotten cancer. It happens when malignant cells form in the bones or soft tissues of the body. In today's Health Watch, July is Sarcoma Awareness Month. And joining us now is Dr. Daniel Lerman, uh, orthopedic oncologist from Presbyterian St. Luke's. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for the opportunity of being here. Yes, and this is such important information. So let's talk about sarcomas. They are cancers that come from the cells that hold the body together. Explain that. Certainly, so sarcomas are a very specific type of cancers. And by definition, in the adult population, they're a rare cancer. They represent about 1% of cancers in adults but they disproportionately affect children. And there are about 10 to 20% of cancers in the children population. So it's important to increase awareness around sarcomas. Because they occur in the musculoskeletal system or the connective tissue of our body, they arise in our bones, they arise in our fat cells, they arise in our tendons, muscles, nerve tissue. So it's all the kind of stuff that's keeping us together that keeps us moving. Now oftentimes, people notice a lump or a bump that can be dismissed and ignored for years and years sure. and years. And if they notice growth, if you notice something changing in your body, it's important to be aware of it. So I'm not here to scare anybody. I don't want anybody to, to you know, be awake all night worried about something popping up in their body, but I am here to try to increase awareness because I see many patients who have something that they've been watching for a long time. And like any cancer, the sooner it's identified, the sooner we start treatment, the better everybody's outcome. Well, you came here two years ago to talk to us about mm -hmm. sarcoma. What's changed since then? So one of the big things in our space is really having a whole team approach to treating sarcoma. Because it is an aggressive cancer, its treatment is usually involved surgery, radiation therapy, and sometimes some form of chemotherapy. Now, the medications involved with chemotherapeutics have evolved dramatically in that time, where traditionally we think about chemotherapy being you lose your hair, it makes you sick, really kind of like old school drag chemotherapy. There are many new chemotherapeutic options that we can give to people that they can take and still have a very good quality of life. What are the screening protocols for sarcomas? Because it's a rare disease, there are no recommended screening protocols, meaning <clears throat> there's been no value demonstrated in doing kind of routine screening of people. However, it is important, as I said, just to be aware of the signs and symptoms. So when we talk about soft tissue sarcomas, those are cancers that arise in the soft connective tissues of our body. Those are usually a painless mass that can be increasing in size. When we talk about bone sarcomas or cancers that start in the bone, those are often painful. Pain that usually occurs at night or pain that occurs at rest. So when you're out running around having your normal life, it should not be something that bothers you. But when your body's kind of calm and you're relaxed and you're trying to go to sleep at night, if there's a deep, achy, throbby pain that persists in some part of your body, that's worth looking at and understanding better. And you can just make a doctor's appointment and get it checked out? Yeah, and speak to your doctor. Yeah. You know, most people don't really have an awareness. Even most physicians don't see sarcoma regularly. Sure. So it's important to connect with somebody who's a sarcoma specialist. And with that, we usually get imaging. And if there is a mass that's concerning, then we will get a biopsy in order to establish a diagnosis one way or the other. Most of the things that I see are benign, are non-cancerous masses, and they're very easy to treat. But it's important, obviously, to know exactly what you're dealing with and know exactly what you're treating before you remove something. That is all good information. Dr. Lerman, thank you so much for coming My on. My privilege. Thanks for having me. And, of course, you can watch all of our Health Watch interviews on our website. Just go to cbscolorado.com.